Hey guys, welcome back to RKRC. So lately I've been asking myself the question, is short course truck racing in my area dead? Should I get out of it or should I stick with it? Last few times uh, we've tried to race at my local track. Actually, we haven't raced because nobody showed up for it. Um, we stuck around last time and had some fun, but I'm thinking that short course truck racing is about over in our area. Now there are some tracks that are within a couple hours I could go to. I started looking in the e-buggy and it's very expensive. The kits are crazy expensive. But uh, my buddy Aaron, he found one for me. He was looking and found one from an old friend of his who raced and he picked it up for me and just handed it to me and said, here you go. Um, the only thing with it, with it was it was pretty dirty. It had been left out in the rain in the back of the guy's truck after a race. So here's the car. It's an older Mugen MBX7 Eco. So it's an electric e-buggy. And it was extremely, extremely rusty. And I spent the last two or three weeks going through the front end all the way to the back and rebuilding everything. And it almost looks brand new. I mean, there's some wear on some of the parts, but it almost looks brand new. And uh, at the end of this video here, I'll, I'll kind of run through a montage of the uh, the pictures of, uh, of the before buggy, what it looked like before I fixed it up. But I spent the last two or three weeks fixing this thing up, and it, and it was a it was a heck of a chore. But I think it's going to make a pretty good buggy for me to race. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. The only thing that's really wore out are these upper uh, upper arms here, um, and they're not they're usable, but they definitely need to be replaced. That along with the pills, probably. I forgot the rust cleaned off of it and replaced some of the bearings that were rusted. Um, turned out to be a pretty nice little buggy. I had a heck of a time. The rear diff pinion was completely rusted to the bearing that was inside the gearbox. And I probably spent an hour trying to get that thing off there. Finally got that off there. The front steering, it was completely rusted together. Um, ended up getting that off of there after again, probably spending an hour on that. But uh, it turned out really, really nice. Uh, it's in good shape uh, for the most part. And it should make me a good entry level uh, e-buggy to, to see if I even like racing in this division. It's going to be a lot different uh, than a racing short course, but it should be fun. It should be a lot more uh, athletic, if you want to call it that. Um, it should be a lot more action uh, with this uh, than, say, with short course trucks. But this, it was a lot of fun racing short course trucks. I really did enjoy it. And I hope that maybe I can, uh, you know, keep racing short course trucks. Maybe in our area, they'll, you know, they'll build back up. But right now, there's no one racing them. And so I'm going to move over to this guy. But anyway, guys, quick update on the channel and I'll play that montage of the kind of the before pictures of this buggy and uh, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in.